Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Mobs Manager. This is a simple plugin that allows you to toggle the spawning of all the mobs in the game. You can either do this through the config or with commands in game. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the bucket tab and type in mobs manager in one word. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can just download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. Like I mentioned previously, you can either toggle spawning from the config or in-game. I'll show you quickly how to do it in the config first. Locate the config in the plugins folder and here you'll see a list of mobs. The custom spawn option is whether the mob can be spawned with a command. The all spawn option is of course whether the mob can spawn at all. Egg spawn means whether you can spawn it using a spawn egg. Natural spawn is whether they spawn naturally in the world and the spawner spawn is whether they can spawn from a spawner block. And that's about it. You can go through each of these mobs and toggle whatever option you like. Just make sure when you've done editing this file, save and restart your server. In game, there are only two commands, which are slash enable and slash disable, to either disable or enable a mob from spawning. So if I typed in slash disable pig, this will disable spawning of pigs, and slash enable pig will enable the spawning of them. You can also disable certain types of spawns. So for example, if I type in slash disable zombie spawner, this will disable zombies, but only from spawner blocks. There are four spawn reasons that you can enter. These can be either natural, custom, spawner or egg, just like in the config. If you don't put a reason at all, it will disable the mob spawning completely. And that's about it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.